Hi YouTube! Tonight I'm going to be sharing with you my top six beauty favorites. So it's like a mini haul of just some of my favorites that I've gotten over the past few months. So, since I have it in my hand, first I'm going to start with the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. kind of looks like this. has like a little angle at the end. I really like this brush. It was about $3. I got it at a Super Target in Orlando. Um, I really like it. Sometimes when you're trying to put on a pencil eyeliner, you eventually figure out how to use it, but you're kind of like in the way of your eye. So if you're using like a gel eyeliner or a cream eyeliner, or if you're using a shadow or really anything other than a pencil, um, this makes it really easy to put on because you can kind of close your eye and just your hand's not in the way because your hand's down here and the brush just makes it a lot easier. So I'm really liking this product right now. It's only like $3, so definitely a good buy and one of my favorites. Um, the next one that I would like to share is my new Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman brush. It's a stippling brush. Uh, if you watch any beauty gurus on YouTube, Samantha is one of the Pixie Woo sisters. So, this is her new brush. One of them, she has many. But this is a stippling brush, and you can kind of see how full and densely packed it is. Um, it has a flat bottom, so you can set it on your vanity. That's kind of nice. But I just usually pump my foundation on the back and then stipple it on and then buff it in like you would with, like, a kabuki brush or something. Um, but this is an awesome, awesome brush. Um, I think that she just came out with them at the end of March. But I just picked this up earlier this week at Ulta. Um, it was $9.99, so really a f reasonably priced brush. Um... I do have a MAC 190 brush, but right now I'm actually loving this a little bit more. So, there's that. Definitely a favorite. Uh, next, I'm going to be sharing another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette. Now, I don't think I have the packaging nearby, but when you pick this up, the colors... They label the colors every single one blushed, so I was kind of unsure at first if every color was called blushed or if that was the palette name. But once you actually buy the product and open it up, you can kind of see on the back there's this tiny little sticker. And it says that this palette is called Sheer Sunrise, but you won't know that until after you purchase it. Nevertheless, um, it's kind of like these really awesome highlight colors. Over here, there's like a pearly white. Here, there's like a peachy, um, shimmery color, a uh, champagne shimmer, and then a pink, baby pink kind of shimmer. And I saw these on a guru that I watch. I will link her below. I believe her name's Grace. Um, so, I saw her using them. I figured I'd give it a try. I also got these at Super Target when I picked this little elf brush up. And, um... It was like three bucks, so I was just like, no, eh, why not? If I hate it, I hate it. But she had said some pretty good things about it, and so I figured I would give it a try. And I really like it, so I like this product. It's good for, um, you can really use any of the colors as highlights, or like a brow bone highlight, um, all over eyeshadow, cheek highlight. Very versatile product. I definitely recommend you picking this up. The next one... You have all probably heard of. I got this. Well, I kind of treated myself to this for my birthday. It's Elf Mini. Uh, Elf, sorry. It's the Urban Decay Mini Primer Potion in Greed. So the story behind this is that I wanted to try this because I'd heard a lot of good things about it on YouTube as far as the Urban Decay Primer Potion goes. Um, this is Greed. You can kind of see that it's the um, one with the gold shimmer in it. It has this little doe foot applicator that makes it really easy to apply. Um, so anyway, the story behind this is I wanted to try some. Um, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to be in love with it, so I bought the mini version at Sephora for $9. Just so I could give it a little test run before I made the investment in the larger one. And, side note, I am allergic to paraben, so... 
that was another reason I wanted to try the mini version because not all of the um, Urban Decay Primer potions are paraben free. So Greed was, and luckily they had a mini version, so I went ahead and gave that a try. Now, if you don't know what paraben it is, it's from what I understand of it, I think it's well, it's used in a lot of cosmetics. Um, I believe to help bacteria from spreading, but I'm allergic to it and it really causes my skin to break out in just a terrible rash. So I have to go through and read all the ingredients on cosmetics, um, skincare, lotion, shampoo, anything. It's really annoying, but I have to do it. So moving on, um, all, so basically any cosmetics that I show you on this channel are all going to be paraben free. So moving on. My best friend Jessica got this for me for my birthday, and I will link her below because she has a beauty channel on YouTube. Jessica um, is a professional makeup artist. Actually, she'll be graduating from Joe Belasco Makeup School in a couple of weeks, so congratulations. Um, she is just a wealth of knowledge. I definitely recommend you checking her out. She knows her stuff. Um, and she's always really been into makeup. So even though she's now professionally trained, she has a lot of her own tricks up her sleeve. So I will put her um, channel and link below. And I definitely recommend you checking her out. Okay, so moving on. She got me these, or this, for my birthday. It's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Blue Eye Candy. And I really am just in love with this little palette. First of all, it's really cute and it's really easy to take anywhere. And I was kind of unsure if I was going to like the little um, sponge. Most of the sponge things that, um, you know, like drugstore palettes come with, I don't really like. But this one, I just love the way it's shaped. You can kind of see that. It makes it really easy to, like, I don't know, just to put on and... I just happen to really like that one. So, anyway, this one's kind of geared towards blue eye color, which I have. And, um, I just really can't say enough good things about this. This one, you know, doesn't have paraben. Thanks, Jessica, for paying attention. Um, and... So seriously, I mean, you can put this stuff on in the morning, go to sleep, and wake up the next day, and you'll still have this stuff on. So... Huge, huge, huge plus. I love this stuff. This is like a go-to palette right now. And there's like, I think, nine different colors. So, you can do a lot of looks with that. Okay. So, my final little thing I'm going to show you is a new brand for me. It's Tarte. And I believe that most of their products, if not all of their products, are paraben-free. So that's like a big deal for me. So I'm really, really excited to have found this brand. Um, I've, seen, I've seen them at Sephora and Ulta. But moving on, I got this palette for my birthday as one of the, my gifts for my boyfriend. Um, this is the Tarte Limited Edition 10 palette. And you can see it's kind of cute. It has like little studs on the front and back's plain, whatever. <laughs> But this, the front's really cute. So, if you pop this open, you can see that it comes with all of these colors. Some really great colors. There's like a soft beige here, a shimmery silver gray, a gold, a copper color, a shimmery violet color. Um, kind of a... Mm, this one has less shimmer, but it's still like a purple color. An almost black a forest green, a chocolate color, and then a teal color. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch those and then I'll kind of get into what all this palette came with. So let me just swatch them really quick. Okay, so this is the top row. This is the beige, silver gray, gold, copper, purple. And then I'll go ahead and show you the bottom row, which the colors are a little dark on the bottom row, but I really like this palette because you can um, really do a lot of different looks. So you see those there. I'll list the colors and everything below. Um, 
but this palette is just really, really awesome. So as you can see, it kind of came with that huge mirror at the top, but it also came with a little Tarte blending brush, which I really actually like this brush a lot. I don't really have a brush that is that wide um, to use for blending, so I haven't really used it with any other colors. I've kind of just kept it with this palette, but I really do like this little brush. It came with this. It also came with, um, my fingers are so dirty now from swatching them, um, two eyeliners. It's like a duo, so there's a purple color. I'll swatch. Okay, so you can see there's a black color it came with and a purple color. So that was kind of nice. Um, so it came with, it came with ten colors. It came with the brush, the eyeliner, and then actually all of the eyeshadows can actually be popped out and you can put refills in, so that's pretty cool. I really liked that. Now, it also came with this Tarte's Light, light Camera Action, or <laughs> Lights Camera Action, it's called Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is just like a little mini bonus in there. Um, that's the wand. I'm not really a huge fan of this, but... You know, I'm not really going to complain, so it was like a free thing, so probably wouldn't repurchase this, but it was free. It came with the palette, so I tried it, didn't like it, whatever, but I love, love this. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, I'll put all the prices and relist everything below in case you want to check anything out. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Stay tuned to the next video, and please subscribe. Thanks.